So let's look at some actual information from a sample and make it a little bit more concrete because I was just telling you the theory there and now let's make it real. So say our mean is 10 and it's from a sample or a population. That's right, it's from a sample because we used X bar. And we have a standard deviation of 2.3. And it says, drawn label is symmetric mound shape distribution showing all seven points of interest. That's what I like to tell you. Here's what I like to see. Draw this shape. It should be a mound shape like that. Draw in, here's where the mean is. And our mean is 10. So I'm going to put 10 there. This is a data value. So I'm going to put X off to the side so that I can remember that is a data value. And then I will draw some even distributions. There's one, two, three. And the distance from here is the same as the distance here, is the same as the distance there. And I'll do the same thing on the left, trying to make it the same distance apart for each of these upright measures. And then for this one here, my formula, which I don't usually want to write the formula, but that is going to be X bar plus S. And for this marker, again, I'm writing in the formula because it's our first time, but normally we don't write those formulas down. So it'll be X bar plus 2S. And for this final one, definitely X bar plus, whoops, don't need the minus there, 3S. And so if my X bar is 10 and I add S, that is 2.3 then I will get 12.3. And that is what I definitely want to write down here, 12.3. That is the value for one standard deviation above the mean when my mean is 10 and my standard deviation is 2.3. I can keep adding on. I can either do 12.3 plus 2.3, another standard deviation, another standard deviation, so 3 plus 3 is 6, 4, 14.6, so I can write that down here. This is the easy way to do it. And then add another 2.3, and I get 0 0.9, 16.9, and that is my highest one. That gives me all of my data values for the mean adding on different numbers of standard deviations. Now you could also go back to the start and say, well, I wanna do 10 plus 2S. That's fine. You can do 10 plus 2 times 2.3, cause that's my S. 2 times 2.3 is gonna be 4.6, and we can add that to 10, and we will get 14.6. So that's the other way of finding this point, 14.6. I can do the same thing for that higher one, 10 plus 3s, which would be 10 plus two, oops, three times my standard deviation of 2.3. And when I multiply that, I get 6.9 plus 10, which is 16.9. And that's this data point right here. So you might be wondering, and I hope you are, what about these values to the left? Well, here I took my mean and I added the standard deviation. For this one, I will take my mean and I will subtract one standard deviation. And here I will take my mean and I will subtract two standard deviations. And here I will take my mean and subtract three standard deviations. Those are my formulas again. I don't want to show my formulas generally, but while we're learning, no problem. Write them in so that we can remember what it is we're finding. To get to this first one, I will take 10. I'm going to erase some of this work over here because this was extra, like you don't have to do it that way, but it's sometimes helpful to see. So now I'm starting with 10 and I'm subtracting 2.3. So at this point, I'm going to be lazy, and I'm going to do 10 minus 2.3 on my calculator, and I get 7.7, .7, which is the value that goes here, 7.7. .7. And then I can subtract off another 
and it's sitting on my calculator so I might as well subtract off 2.3 there and get 5.4 and that'll go here 5.4 subtract off one more 2.3 and I get 3.1 and that goes way on the left 3.1 now remember we could do it by doing x bar minus um, 2s for example so that would be 10 minus 2 times 2.3 which would be 10 minus 4.6 which would be 6 5.4 yep so 5.4 that's the same thing I got here for x bar minus 2s so you can use the formula as well or you can just start here subtract off your standard deviation one time subtract it off from here to get to there, subtract it off from here to get to there, and that's because this distance from here to here for every bar, every pair of bars, that distance is s. It's one standard deviation apart, so we can just keep adding it or keep subtracting it until we have all our values showing. Okay, so here we have the mean. That's what the seven points of interest, we wrote down the mean, we did plus or minus one standard deviation, that's the 12.3 and the 7.7. We did plus or minus two standard deviations, that's the 14.6 and the 5.4. And we did plus or minus three standard deviations, that's the 16.9 and the 3.1. So we followed all of our instructions, we drew and labeled it, it is mound shaped, we have seven points of interest. We have another one to do. And this has a mean of 79.5 and a standard deviation of 9.8. If you think that you are ready to do this one on your own, pause the video, work it out, and then play to see how you did. I really encourage you to try it if you're anywhere close because you have a really well worked out example just before that you can compare to.